Hey, when did you, I guess, start thinking about transferring? And then, hey, what went into your head? Like, this is why I need to do this. Um, I think transferring for me was a very thought out but last minute decision. Um, it wasn't until at least probably two weeks after LSU even won the national championship that I decided I think it would be best for me to enter the transfer portal. Um, you know, there was, I had the idea pop in my head, but um, emotionally I was very tied to my teammates at Louisville, but just individually the best thing for me and my personal well-being, my happiness, my basketball um, development was to transfer. What are you appeal to you about LSU? I mean, I'm sure you watched him during the year, but what is this all the way through? What the finally struck you? Man, it looks like I want to play there. Yeah, um, you know, I actually said that several times throughout the season, even when I didn't know I was transferring here yet. It was like, man, I want to play on that team. Just like the energy um, that the coaches coach with, the energy Coach Mulkey brings to the court, the energy the assistants bring to the court, the energy the girls, the attitude the girls play with. I think, um, you know, the culture of the team really drew me in, but then obviously getting a chance to play for one of the best point guards ever and Coach Mulkey and learn from her is something that's really valuable to me. And then, you know, the fans here, like no other, um, I'm, a, I'm the type of player that loves to play in front of a big crowd and, and entertain, as you would say. So, yeah, those would probably be three things. Were you surprised at the reaction when you did hit the portal? Um, honestly, I, I don't um, engage on social media at this point in my career. You know, there's every level of opinion. There's people that were really for it and really against it. And so, you know, you can't swing either way too much. So I just focused on the people around me, um, the coaches I had around me, my parents, my family, my friends, and they were all supportive of it. So that's all that I cared about. Kim recruited you at Baylor. Kim recruited you at Baylor. What, what was the difference uh, then that made you go to Louisville? And what do you remember about that recruiting process? Um, I think out of high school, uh, the system at Baylor was a little bit different. Um, you know, it was set up in a way that I would be playing, I would have been playing with two super dominant bigs and Alyssa Smith. They, I think they had Alyssa, like Queen Agbo, like very, very, they were very big. And me coming in, the in the past years, her offense, you know, guards were very, it was a pretty one-dimensional offense, you know, we're getting into the post, and that was working for them, that was great. So that's, I knew that's probably the style of play I would have been coming into, and I just don't fit well into that. My style of play um, is different, and so I think at that time, with the system Baylor had, I wouldn't have been a good fit. Um, it wasn't anything, like, it was r so hard for me to tell Coach Mulkey no. Um, and she knew it. She knew it wasn't anything with her. Like our connection, you know, stayed fresh. We didn't talk while I was at Louisville, but the minute I called her when I was in the portal, it was like we talked every day since Baylor. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was why um, out of high school, but everything happens for a What's reason. The now? Um, I think the system here is a little bit more open. Um, the, even the bigs that I am playing with, they're a little bit more versatile. They can they can play the perimeter, come off the block. Um, so the system that the team has and the flow and the style of play fits me a little bit better. And I'm also in a position where um, I'm going to be able to play multiple positions. So um, I have the capability to step out and play the one now, where if I would have went to Baylor out of high school, I don't know if I would have been ready to step up and play the one. So you now that you're here and you got your teammates, what do you what do you think about these girls that you're playing with? A lot of the talk last year was that they were really getting after it and a lot more physical than I think people thought they were going to be. You, you seem like a girl that can scrap. How, how excited are you to kind of mix it up with these? Like in like inner squad scrimmages? Yeah, I mean now that you're yeah. working with them and working against, you know against them in practice. Yeah, I think you know for us um, in the level of talent we have, there's going to be a lot of times where our practices are going to be much harder than the competition we're playing in games. Um, and that's all you can ask for, right? Like that's going to prepare us. Um, it's not, we're not always going to be looking at the opponent across from us, we're going to be looking at us and how to make us better. Um, and I think that that mentality is going to make a difference in the long run for us. A weekend under Coach Mulkey, how has it been for you? Um, you know, it's a process. She's a great coach. I have a lot to learn from her. 
Um, she is fiery, but I can match her fire for fire, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm already learning a lot. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's just a I'm taking it day by day, not getting too far ahead of myself, not thinking in the past, and that's all I can do. What about taking stars on paper and making it a team and making it a cohesive and your chemistry and all of that? How's that process coming along? Yeah, I mean, um, that's that's kind of Kim. Coach Mulkey's job um, to make us flow and figure out who plays well together, but also with me stepping into the one, um, it's my job to learn all their um, tendencies and their personnel and be able to get them the ball, um, people the ball where they're very successful. So I think um, what's going to, and we've already started to figure out, is where each of us shoot the ball at a very high percentage where each of us can pass really well like what spots on the floor and, and keep those people in those spots and um, you know I think that we're starting to figure that out and uh, you can look at the star power um, and question it but um, we're committed to making it gel and making it work and we're all happy for each other so. Are you, are you enjoying the culture shock of South Louisiana and Baton Rouge? Yeah <laughs> uh, I love the food down here it, the humidity is crazy I thought I knew like humid when I was in Louisville for three years it's a little bit humid it's not the same down here I'm like sweating at 7 a.m. right out of bed but um, I love it I have no complaints. If anything I'm sorry. Uh, if anything, the version of Haley Van Lith in an LSU uniform, how will it be different than the version than the Haley Van Lith version in a Louisville uniform? Um. Or, or will it be the same? I think I could say both. Um, I will be the same in the fact that uh, my playing style is probably going to be the same. You know. Um, the way that I approach the game every day will be the same. How that looks on the court might look a little different, but my mentality, um, the way that I'm going to come to practice every day, come to every game ready to compete, um, ready to do what I do well, that's never going to change. Um, but also I think that I have a great opportunity to learn and grow here. Um, so we'll see the ways that I change. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I guess how much of that went into your decision-making process that your game, what it was, is going to be different on paper at the end of the game now? You know, and like how much did you have to reconcile that? Like, I'm not going to have as many points. I'll have more assists. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll maybe be a bigger factor to a different team. Huh? Did you kind of play that out in your mind? Um, no, I would say me personally, I'm very confident in what I bring to a team and what I can do on the court. And so, um, you know, the amount of shots I'm going to get, the amount of minutes I'm going to play, not super important to me. It's more I know that when I'm on the court, I can control what I can control. And I think what the amount of minutes I play, the amount of times I get to shoot, that all is going to be, term, be determined by the attitude that I take. And ultimately, I just want to make great plays. Um, and I think that a lot of people didn't realize that at Louisville because a lot of times the right play was for me to shoot. And, you know, it is what it is. But here, a lot of times the right play is for me to kick it when I draw two people. So um, I'm just looking to make right plays. And, and whether that's a shot, whether that's a pass, whether that is standing in the corner and letting Angel go one-on-one, -on -one, I'll do it. I'm willing to do any, all of it. What are you seeing in Michaela Williams? How bright is her future? It's very bright. Uh, yeah, she's very talented. Um, very talented, very strong, um, you know, can, can pass, can score at three levels. So it's very rare to see a freshman um, with that type of skill level. It looks like the WNBA is finally expanding. So mm -hmm. what do you think that means for overall just state of women's basketball? Yeah, I think it'll be great. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get to see more rookies stay on teams, and we'll get to see that that youth talent be developed, have opportunities, um, and you know. The platform is the biggest coming out of college, so hopefully we can get that crossover more and get more fans to follow players from college to the WNBA now that more rookies are going to have the opportunity to make rosters. Um, we'll see. How much fun is it playing with talented bigs like Angel and Anissa? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it gets me a lot of easy assists, I will say. That's, I appreciate about them. And any time I miss, I don't get yelled at because they clean it up. So we score anyways. Um, yeah. I didn't mean that. No, you're good. You, you know, the outside narrative has been, wow, LSU has a lot of personalities, whatever, whatever mm -hmm. that means. They're just yeah. popular players, players who are used to scoring a lot. From the inside, how do you guys sort of respond to that? I think I think exactly what you said is you know whatever that means mm -hmm. like whatever that means I don't know what that means like big personalities I feel like um a lot of people are are giving opinions whether they're good or bad about our team and they're expecting us to take them into account mm -hmm. and I think it's up to all, us whether we even take it into account and I'm and there's opinions saying that we're going to be the best team ever for women's basketball and there's opinions saying you know big personalities so I think like, once again it's it's the there's always going to be an opinion there's going to be extremes that are for us and extremes that are against us and it's up to us to let it affect us or not. Um, Uh, you know, <laughs> must have been a good question. It's a good, it's a great question. Um, I think she can challenge me from a leadership standpoint. Um, you know, I've always, I've always been a great leader, but I think there's a different type of leadership when you're playing the one, and so I think. Um, you know, getting me to understand that change in, in leadership style and how understanding how to really run a team um, and a team with so much talent is is where she can really help me. You talked about what people assume. Mm -hmm. People say they got all these stars. Yeah. Coaches have all these egos to deal with. Yeah. I mean, a lot of great athletes say, of course I have an ego. If I didn't, I wouldn't be good. So how is that dynamic right now with all of you? And are there egos or are there things to... Oh. Manager. You know, I think we are, we're all human. Um, everyone has their day where, you know, they might be feeling like they're not playing well. It happens to me, it happens to everybody. Um, but the thing about us is we bounce back the next day. And, and one thing I will say is that's what Kim, Coach Kim is really good at. Um, you know, she's a great coach. She can manage personalities. So I trust her. She's going to make sure everything works out. Last question. Yeah, really, um, what were your impressions of uh, Angel Reese before you got here and how have they evolved since you've been able to kind of have her as a teammate? Yeah, um, my impressions of Angel before, you know, just watching her from the outside is I actually, I really loved her energy. <laughs> I think, um, I can't remember, one of the games she did one of her like patented celebrations. I literally DM'd her and I was like, I love that. Like, that's the type of uh, like personality on the court that I can relate to. Like, I love that competitive energy. Like, she take, like she doesn't care. And I love that about her. I mean, I thought she was a great competitor. I think she, she does what she does well the best in the country. She's an amazing rebounder. How it's changed since I've got here, um, you know, I think I've enjoyed getting to see our friendship develop. I think she's a great leader. Um, you know, she cares about her teammates. And I think um, a lot of people on the outside that, that aren't here every day, you know, try to make us seem selfish or we all have our own thing going on and we're not dedicated to this team and I think it's just it's really the opposite um, you know she's a great leader she cares about everybody she's the first person to pick um, you up if, if you're mission shots if you're ha feeling if coach is on you a lot um, so yeah I think that's that's something that I wish more people would get to see that side of her